The lab grown diamonds are almost mainstream now with most cutting and polishing factories creating a vertical for this sector and as jewelers expand from shelves to standalone stores in lab grown diamond jewelry. The laboratory grown diamonds have essentially the same chemical, optical and physical properties and crystal structure as natural diamonds. Like natural diamonds, they are also made of tightly bonded carbon atoms. The main differences between lab growns and natural diamonds lie in their origin. There's a great example that I read somewhere suggesting to see that the lab grown diamonds are like ice from your refrigerator, while natural diamonds are ice from a glacier. They are both ice, but one natural and the other created. There is different clientele for lab grown diamonds. It is like people who are looking for environmental friendly diamonds, green diamond, which is also affordable and with more designs and creativity that can be taken around lab growns. Well, there are two types or main processes that are used to create lab grown diamonds. One is the HPHT process, which is also called as high pressure, high temperature. With this method, lab grown diamonds are produced using high pressure, high temperature conditions similar to what natural diamonds experience on the earth. Well, the second process is the chemical vapor deposition, which is also called as CVD diamonds. This technique is more popular. The diamonds created by this technique are more pure and more authentic as well. And this technique enables scientists to grow lab grown diamonds using moderate temperatures and lower pressures. The carbon containing gas is pumped into a vacuum chamber and deposits onto a diamond seed crystallizing as lab grown diamonds. Well, the markets do believe that going forward, there would be a better transition or a settling when you look at lab grown diamonds and the natural and the lab grown diamonds in that sense will have their own parallel market going forward.